Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we'll create a recipes search app. Okay, using React JS with Adam uh, API. Okay, it will be something like this. Okay, this is the demo. Uh, this is the now bar at the top, and here we can search the recipes. For example, let's search rice. Okay, and press the search button. So we will see the list of recipes. We will use Chat GPT. Okay, to create this app, just in a few minutes. Okay, it will take five to ten minutes to create this app simply. Okay, using Chat GPT, I will show you how to use the Chat GPT to create an app, a search recipes app like this. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, this was the demo that we have. So here, if we click right now on this detail, we will see the ingredients, uh, the details. Okay, if we click on the view ingredients, we will see the detail, the ingredients. Okay, see these are the ingredients. Enclose it. This is the model that we have showed in model okay and it will move to a new page um new url okay where it will show you the details of that recipe so now let's get started okay to create this app using chat gpt okay how to do it using chat gpt with adam uh, api so let's get started uh, first of all, I will show you how to use Edamam API. Okay, to use this Edamam uh, API, we need application ID and key. Okay, to use the Edamam uh, API. For that, first of all, you should create account. After sign uping, it means registering in this website. Uh, we will click on this account. Okay, whenever you sign in, log into the this website. So come here, press the login. So after move to the dashboard. Okay, go to the dashboard. I have already logged into this website. Okay, so then press this application. In the application, you will find your API application key and API key. Okay, so here you see I have created this app. Okay, recipe search API. Okay, I have named it like this. You can edit it. Let's press view now. So after um, pressing view, you will um, see this page. Okay, in this page we have application ID and application keys. Okay, we need just this ID and this API key. Okay, to use this uh, Edamam API, just these two things. So after um, uh, creating account and um, uh, moving to the application area, uh, you just copy this uh, application ID and key. After copying that, now let's get started our coding. Okay, first of all, let's move to the Visual Studio Code. In the Visual Studio Code, I have created React app. Uh, let's move to the chat GPT. Okay, this is chat GPT after opening chat GPT So let's create a new chart. Okay, press this button and a new chart has created now. Let's write recipes search up with the Edamam API using react JS and I will use bootstrap for designing. Okay, you can use CSS tailwind CSS whatever you write So it will generate code for that using react JS and boot strap press enter so it will generate the answer let's wait for it yeah, it is generating the code for us So now let's move to the top of this answer okay so it says first of all create react app we have created and install bootstrap and this react app which i have already created i have installed the bootstrap let's see it package digestion i have installed axios bootstrap okay because we will use these two um, if you would like to install it just npm install bootstrap and axios in the terminal so it will be installed in your react app uh, now let's move to create environment variable so I will not create this okay just it says uh, first of all create a, a recipe search uh, .js component okay so let's copy this code and I will name it recipes search okay let's create a new component recipes search .jsx and paste that code here that is recipe search okay let's rename it save it come down it says uh, in the index just it says add bootstrap Boom. i will import the bootstrap okay so to import the bootstrap let's come here and in the main gsx here i will import bootstrap import bootstrap slash dash slash css slash bootstrap dot main dot css 
now let's go down in app.jsx we will write this code okay let's copy this code and app.jsx control a paste it here and finally it says npm start or uh, I have used wit so I will write um, like this okay let's delete it and I will take a new terminal npm run do okay npm run do so it will run react app now let's move to this URL so we paste with an error import search component recipe search okay so let's import it come here to the recipe search yeah we will just import it because it is the same directory we will write like this save it and it's more okay it looks like this so now let's write something okay to search it x let's press search button what happened let's check it okay so I have not added okay um, the AP application ID and key okay to this example so let's add those two we just come here to the recipe search here um, I will just create two variables let's create them or I will create them at the top const ID is equal to here I will add the ID and down from that const key is equal to here I will add the key okay instead of this I will add those two variables simply ID and key so now let's add I think that is just key okay yeah that is okay so I will copy the ID and key and paste them here I have pasted the ID and key so now let's move and refresh the page and I will write again for example X and refresh the search button see we pitched just the title now it will display the images also because it is the internet issue so it is displaying the images and also it will display the um, details we will wait for it so it has just displayed the um, images okay now let's move and I will add um, ask from chat GPT to add uh, yeah let's ask add bootstrap design to display images in cards yeah just in cards okay we have already um, installed the bootstrap okay so now let's update our code this recipe search component okay generating code for us so let's copy this code copy the code and we will paste instead of recipe search recipe search I will just leave these two okay uh, let's remove the top code because we need the um, ID and key yep it's simply delete this code and I will just lift this code okay because it need ablation so I will paste the new code here paste that here and I will copy now the previous code okay just come here control X I will cut that code and instead of that I will paste that code here Thing, yeah let's paste it we have pasted that code here right now okay let's save it now let's check it okay how it looks like I'm just come here and we paste with an error react bootstrap it uh, used react bootstrap it says install react bootstrap okay so let's install the react bootstrap okay I will take a new terminal npm install react bootstrap press enter that has installed now let's check it okay let's refresh it let's search something 
search press the search button see right now it looks like this okay it has added the cards and by pressing this button view recipe it will move to another page where it will display all the details of that recipe okay so let's close it and come here back now i will add some other as from chat gpt add a now bar a now bar at the top with the logo at the left side left side okay and down from yeah just i will just no bar okay just add no bar let's it will just update the code for us so let's copy this code okay it is the same code just simply i will um, copy this code okay from this area go down until this area okay let's copy this code and come here instead of this view i will paste that code paste that here save it and i think we should add the now bar also at the top yeah let's just add these things copy it paste it here save it where is the error yeah here is an error src the error has gone here i will add the instead of this i will add the path of this logo okay copy this and paste it here let's save it and now let's check it okay come here let's refresh it but it should be down from the now bar okay Cut it, paste it here, see it. Yeah, it looks like this right now, but let's cut it and bring it here after the now bar and paste it here. Yeah, it looks like this now. Okay, let's add something more to bring the text down from now bar to the center and um, input field and button in the same line press enter are generated let's again copy the code control c it and just come here straight up this paste the code and update the logo just come here and come here copy it paste it here save it just come here now yeah it looks like this right now okay let's search it for example the rice okay let's press the search button so it looks like this okay now we will ask from chat gpt to add one another button to display the ingredients okay just come here add one and uh, add another button to the left side of view button to display the ingredients in model 
Just press enter. Yeah, the code has generated. Now I will simply copy this code and paste it there. Okay, instead of recipe search um, component. Okay, copy it. Control A, Control V. I'll paste it. Just I will just correct the API key and um, I will add the add the key and ID. Okay, at the top as we I did before. I will stop the video for that. So I have edited the code. Now let's check it. Okay, how it looks like. Just simply, let's. For example, the rice. Okay, press search button. See, we have two buttons. Let's wait for the images. For example, I would like to press this show ingredients. Okay, press this button. See, we have the ingredients in model. Let's close it again. Ingredients. Okay. So whatever you would like to add, so you can do it. Okay, throw um. Um, chat GPT okay just ask from chat GPT it will generate code for you you can add footer you can add another page whatever you want so just write it for the chat GPT chat GPT will uh, write the code for you and generate the code for you I hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel thanks for watching